staying on topic, here's something else that China hates. Our channel. And it's flattering to be honest. If Beijing hates us, rest assured we are doing something right. This time it's standing up for Taiwan. Last week we broadcast a special show on Taiwan. Some of you may have watched it. We talked about Taiwan's economic growth, the politics, the culture, and frankly, it was a good report card, even if I say so myself. It was an overview of Taiwan, but not according to China. Their embassy in New Delhi is having a social media meltdown. Look at what they've said. We express firm opposition to some Indian media that provided platform for Taiwan independence forces, urge them to adhere to one China principle and avoid sending wrong messages to the public. This is classic China. A lot of criticism, but no names. What are they scared of? We don't talk about a self-ruled island near the South China Sea. We say Taiwan. Our show featured an interview with Ambassador Bao Shuan Ger. He's Taiwan's representative in India. Clearly, the interview enraged Beijing. And that is our best feedback, we say. A massive tick for the show and for our journalism. And this obsession did not begin recently, we can tell you. For a country that has banned us, China sure watches a lot of we on. And like all loyal viewers, they always have something to say. I can give you instances. April 2020, we ran a report exposing China's faulty testing kits. It was a big controversy. The tests were so bad that the Chinese company lost its import license for India. The company responded to our report with a press release. Fair enough. They have a right to respond, and they did. But guess what happened next? The same press release of a private company was circulated by the Chinese embassy in India, complete with screenshots from this show. Next time around, we got a letter. This was in October 2020. We had interviewed Taiwan's foreign minister, Joseph Wu. China sent us a five-page rant for a 30-minute interview. It was the usual stuff. Don't talk about Taiwan, uphold the one China policy and so on. Just think about what that letter meant. One of the most powerful countries in the world writing five pages of grievances against a foreign broadcaster. And for what? For doing their job. It tells you how insecure the Chinese regime is, how fragile its ego is. Now, we appreciate foreign governments watching our reportage. All governments, for that matter. But we do not appreciate diktats and threats. And I know this is difficult for the party officials in Beijing to understand. After all, every Chinese media outlet comes with a prefix, state-owned. Well, not here in India. We have consistently reported on Taiwan. We have invested, invited rather, many Taiwanese leaders on our shows. And we will continue to do so. Our coverage has nothing to do with the Indian government's position on Taiwan. It is purely based on facts. Like what's been happening in the Taiwan Strait. Hundreds of Chinese jets have been entering Taiwan's air defense zone. There was no provocation, no threat, just China acting like a bully. And then today, Baltic lawmakers met Taiwan's president. It was a big moment in the island's diplomatic history. We will report all such events and incidents. We will also report Beijing's piracy in the South China Sea and their belligerence along the line of actual control. It may offend the communist bigwigs. It may ruffle some important feathers. But that's called independent journalism. Again, an alien concept for the Chinese government. So here's our message to Beijing. Keep watching our reports, keep tracking our shows, keep releasing statements, because there is no better praise for our work. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.